Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, and we're back for another Fire Emblem Hero Summoning Session. And it's our 2024, uh, well, well, Harvest Festival, or in this case, Halloween. Trick-or-treaters are here with tr many different uh, transforming uh, units here from the God Asker make making an angelic appearance of a holy cow. <laughs> this art looks amazing. And uh, we got some pretty unique stuff. We got Leith dressed as a cat, even though she is technically one, like a Laguz. We got Na as a witch, much like her mother, although she is a transforming dragon still and not, like, you know, using any tomes or anything. I think I would have preferred if she actually did use tomes. I kind of miss when dragons didn't use their, like, dragon stones for their uh, seasonal alts. I kind of wish she was just, like, played a similar role to how Noe's Halloween alt did. But nonetheless, it is still pretty cool to see that she got her own little upgrade of sorts. And we also have probably a very cool uh, uh, duo idea, and that is Nagi and Idun. Uh, really good choice here for a uh, harmonic unit here, as uh, both are pretty similar in a way, as uh, one has forgotten memories and the other one is, you know, she lost her soul and was recovering it. Both are recovering their stuff and their big, like, you know, powerful dragons. Uh, and Yarne is our Tempest Trial Plus unit. Uh, I believe if you go into the Tempest Trials, uh, I already did, uh, did the, my stuff for today, but yeah, Tiki is one of them. So, uh, and yeah, here's the, uh, let me see where it is. Yeah, Yarne is over here. This is how he looks. He's kind of got some stitches, like a little zombie of sorts, which is pretty cool. He's got a cute little hat as well. But, uh, yeah, overall, I think this is a pretty neat band. I'm surprised Yarne, out of all, like, the Fates Awakening transforming units, happened to be the first one to get three alts, uh, which is pretty interesting, to say the least, of a choice. Uh, I'm also surprised why Tiki is here. I'm guessing because of her and Na having that one support conversation in Awakening. Other than that, I don't know why Tiki's there. I guess maybe because she's, like, you know, a four-star... 3-4 star unit from like Gen 1 and a lot of people have her so just in case if nobody else has any of these other units you'll definitely have a Tiki. Uh, other than that I'm kind of like coping slash speculating that Tiki might, adult Tiki might have a legendary or mythic alt coming soon. I'm crossing my fingers hoping she does but yeah that's just me coping a lot and I really hope she does somehow. Our new aided hero as you guys also saw is going to be Dagger, and she absolutely looks insane in this thing. I'm definitely summoning for her when the next batch of new heroes comes in. I don't know who is going to be on that new heroes banner, but I'm definitely going to be summoning for Dagger. She looks absolutely amazing. I can't believe art by Yusuke Koizaki got outdone. Like, it's really hard to outdo someone who made, like, some probably one of the most consistently good uh, Fey artists, but it's, like, really hard to outdo them. So, props to uh, the artist behind uh, Dagger's uh, aided alt. But yeah, still, I love Yusuke Koizaki, but yeah, this is the one of the few times where I say that uh, someone did draw his character better than he did. Uh, but yeah, enough of that. We have our four characters here. I think I'm going to mostly summon for, uh, for all of them, honestly. They're all really nice. And yeah, Leaf is a four-star demo, and she does have her own weapon. So yeah, she is a really good demo here uh, to have her own unique preferred weapon. Uh, Dagger, well, not Dagger, uh, Na, Idun, well, not Idun, uh, Nagi, and Asker all have some really good kits and some good fodder as well. Uh, yeah, definitely worth summoning. I think we're going to go for all of them, honestly. But I think we're going to, more importantly, try going for reds first. So, let's see what we get here on our free summon. And... Our free summon is... Male Morgan. Okay. So, I think I will be doing a birthday uh, Pokemon card stream... Uh, throughout the next few days. Uh, oh, we got Nah. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, we will be doing a stream for my birthday for opening Pokemon cards and maybe even doing some summons for our new heroes. Uh, yeah, I'm just really excited uh, for my birthday. It's on October 13th. So, can't wait for that. So, we got one Nah out of this. And let's actually check her out. Plus attack, minus res. Armored Blaze, Earth Fire Boost, 4, and Dr Dragon Scales. I believe this is a new skill. I might be wrong. She's also got a Tier 4 sk save skill, which is insane uh, that we're up to there already. Uh, if you guys want my opinion on this banner, I, th I think it's a little bit weaker than last year's because I, I thought we are kind of over and done with the transforming characters like Lagoos and Dragons and all that. But, uh, apparently I was wrong, and we still have, uh, some that are still becoming units. So, I'm hoping next year we might get some more, like, uh, like, more infantry or magic-based, uh, Halloween alts. But I don't, I don't mind the dragon ones. I love dragons and the goons and any other transforming characters. I'm just saying I just really want, uh, some unique stuff. Like, you know, I, I kind of want Sheep Jenny already and Witch Sonya. Uh, I've mentioned those so many times. I'm, like, trying to think of, like, any other potential ideas. Uh, but other than that, I can't really think... Like, I would have to really come up with some ideas, but I know that there's obviously, like, Awakening and Fates having, like, their Harvest Festivals in their DLC. Uh, there's definitely some ideas with some supports, maybe. Who knows, but, yeah, I feel like there's definitely the need for something uh, a bit different. But I still love Halloween. I think it usually consistently has some of the best alts all year round. We got a Kamui here. I do wonder what his name is in Japanese, because I know Kamui is Korn's uh, name in Japanese, so... Not sure how uh, they go around about that. Speaking of Korn, we got Sakura here. Got a few more left on this roll here. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. If you guys did summon on this banner, let me know down below who you summoned for. Uh, or if you're just waiting for the next new Heroes banner or whatnot. Uh, also, leave your predictions. We only have two seasonal banners left in this year after this one. It is our Ninja one in November and our usual Winter one in December. So I can't wait for those. Those are always some of the best times for seasonal alts. Uh, I'm, maybe they might not even continue the ninja ult. I feel like we might get, like, a Kaze or a Kagero alt if we do get a ninja, continue the ninja banners. Uh, I feel like one of those two is definitely in the next line of ninjas from Hoshido to get, like, some sort of big upgraded look. But that's just me. Uh, I feel like also maybe we might get... This is just in my opinion, but uh, I feel like Jafar might be getting an alt if I would have to pick some uh, someone. Uh, maybe someone from Engage would make a really good ninja. Maybe Yunaka, but then again, she just had her uh, winter alt last year. But then again, you, they could always just, you know, give her another alt so quick. Uh, yeah, there's definitely... Maybe Joshua. Who knows? Like, I don't think Joshua really fits it all too well but I maybe someone could probably fit it I mean he his uh his ascended outfit kind of does make him look like a little stealthy in a way especially with his face being covered partially by cloth all right we'll go for one more full circle after this one and we will probably finish off here and save up once again for the upcoming banners and, oh, we got ourselves a four-star focus here. And, yes, that is Farina. Interesting. Uh, I'm not clicking on Merge Project. I'm trying to get a four-star special. Thank you. So, uh, if you guys are wondering, uh, I am currently working on a Merge Project of... What the heck is her face? Uh, Annette Panette, uh, 
And uh, I already have her to plus seven, I believe, or plus six. So I just need another 8,000, well, 80,000 uh, feathers in order to get to there. Uh, this is our last chance to get, oh boy. Yeah, this is our last chance to get either of the other three. Because uh, there's no green, so I think we're going to go for blues first. Because that's our demo color. Alright, and... Eliana, I know she had... I, I believe she had some sort of alt. Uh, the other uh, banner or so. Alright. Set it. Right, our second to last red, and it's Roy. All right, our last colors here for today. This could either be Oscar himself or not. Yep, and we got a Saizo. I think we're going to be ending it off with this one, and let's see if it'll be Nagi here. Puff of smoke and ah, oh, we got Seth. All right, that is it for today's summoning session. Uh, overall, pretty decent. Uh, we got Nah, not the one I was wanting the most. I was definitely between Asker or Nagi, but hey, I'll take it. You can't win them all. You can't, you know, always get the one you want. Want you can get someone you want, but you won't get someone you absolutely want. So yeah. Once again, let me know down below who you guys are summoning for if you're skipping out and just waiting for the next banner. Uh, but yeah, like overall pretty decent. This was a holy cow moment, if you could say that. But uh, yeah, love my videos with the like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, next time on our phase summoning sessions, we will likely be doing our new heroes, which should be out in the middle of the month. Uh, I'm unsure who's going to be on that banner aside from Aided uh, Dagger. We will be we will be covering that absolutely. I'm definitely gonna try getting dagger, uh, and uh, yeah. Let me know down below how you guys felt about this banner and what are your predictions for the upcoming ninja banner, which is next month. So yeah, we'll see you guys then. Peace.